Hey. Status, prestige, and social dominance. Yeah, let's get it, let's go. Taylor about the fucking flex. We come into the world equipped with a nervous system that worries about rank. Robert Frank, 1985. Yeah. Dominance hierarchy, some people reliably get more resources that contribute to reproduction or survival means. Size is important for dominance, but also is enlisting allies, knowledge and competence. Prestige for service theory says humans have adaptations, both to lead and to follow based on reciprocal exchanges. Followers seed resources and prestige in exchange for services provided by those that lead. The more polygamy the mating system, the more it is paid in reproductive success for men compared to women to take risks and ascend the status hierarchy and to climb the class ladder in their society. Between the sexes, there's a lot of variance. Men are hierarchical and women more egalitarian. Women tend to express dominance through pro-social actions such as settling disputes. Often men's dominance expression is all about personal gain and ascension. True. Dominance theory takes the position that dominance consists of prohibitions, obligations, and permissions. What? The emergence of these cognitive strategies is prior to and separate from other types of rationality. People remember faces of cheaters more accurate if the violator is lower status than higher than average. Social attention holding power theorizes we have emotions for solving problems in social hierarchies like social anxiety when status could be gained or lost causing shame and rage also envy to motivate the acquisition of what others have depression for submissive posturing to avoid superiors attack sap theory's last emotional facet is elation after a rise in status there's a lot of qualities corresponded with dominance strong jaw low voice upright posture the way you walk and sit fast stride eye contact physical size serotonin testosterone in high supply Self-esteem functions as motivation to curry favor or repair social relations and for making decisions about when to challenge or submit and to track our desirability in the mating market. There's adaptations to deal with subordination like deceiving down, lowering self-esteem to avoid confrontation. Last but not least, derogating tall poppies. People like to see when the mighty fall, it seems. A props to David Buss, John Tooby, Richard Dawkins, Chelsea Charles Darwin, of course, Herbert Spencer, William Hamilton, Evander Singe, Baba Brinkman, yeah, evolutionary psychology.